This is the story of Chunky Code Monkey, the first Patreon member and the first of our survivors to set out into the dead zone. He had volunteered for a dangerous mission to leave the colony, fight and scavenge his way through the city and make it past the outer wall. A general named Trinity had authorized the mission. The problem? Chunky Code Monkey had volunteered because he, like others, was already dying of the zombie virus. They gave him a car, and Chunky set out on a race against time to find the colony a fresh supply of resources beyond the city wall, or die trying. But he didn't get very far before his car ran out of gas because they forgot to fill it up. So for a moment, Chunky was stranded. But HQ said there was a safe house on this street. He just had to find it. So he ran up and down the street, finding a little bit of this and a little bit of that, taking whatever he could from the trunks of cars. But then he found some kind of herc structure and just had to investigate. No zombies inside, but there was some kind of battery-powered dispenser. And when he fired it up, it spat out an antiviral injection. All he had to do was stab himself in the leg with it, and Chunky would be good to go for a while. And then Chunky spotted something suspicious, a crouch to enter zone. Perhaps zombies couldn't crouch. Aha! This must be the safe house. Crouch to enter, and here we go. Oh no, bad news about the safe house. There were zombies in it. Chunky would have to take them out. Mm-hmm. Yup. Wow, that was a lot of shooting to not even clear them all out. There you go. Good job, Chunky. There were no more zombies, so Chunky started searching. He found a, wait, was that a fire barrel? Who puts a fire barrel in a basement? And who lights it? Chunky, that's who. And what is this, some kind of crafting menu? Uh, tape? Um, yeah, clearly Chunky was not ready for this. So instead, kick the door in. Yeah, kick it. Come on, Chunky, kick it. Yes. And what was inside but the fuel he was looking for. This feels heavy, he said. Not as heavy as the reality that you're going to die soon, bud. Now, why don't you get back out there and refuel that car? Glug, 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 glug. Two in the tank, and it was time to head out. Time to leave the relative safety of the city and enter the dead zone. First stop was a clinic. Good luck, Chunky. Now he was really out on his own. And it was on him to... Okay, thank you, game. It was on him to search the area and scavenge whatever he could find. The dead zone was already pretty well picked over. But oh, look, more gasoline. Not much left. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's hope this other point of interest is just as easy. And don't forget to reload, Chunky. Zombies are here. Oh, and they're fast. Like a professional. Chunky took him down. No, he missed. He missed twice. He missed three times. Chunky. Wow. Not the best start for Chunky, but he kept going. Lots of zombies in these buildings. And they had already noticed him. So maybe he could thin them out some. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! Some were running! Okay, stay calm. Nobody panic. Oh, crap! Ah! 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 Holy cow, that was lucky! Oh, boy! Reload, 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 Chucky! Okay, everybody stay calm. All right. Chunky had cleared out the zombies. Now it was time to loot the place, even though he wasn't sure what most of the stuff was even for. Oh yeah, that was the good stuff. Or at least it looked like good stuff. Chunky didn't really know. He was just taking everything at this point. And he was able to sneak out the front while the zombies were all around back. He rushed back to the car. It was time to get out of this place. Uh, wait, did he forget something? Oh, there was more gas. Nah, he didn't need it. Time was more valuable than gasoline right now. He fired up the engine and had to choose whether to take the road to a restaurant or a store. Hmm, decisions, decisions. But he went for the restaurant. 
boom, and he hit a zombie on the way out. Pulling up to the restaurant, and this time the car did still have some gas in it. So Chunky had the freedom to leave whenever he was ready. Oh, here comes a zombie. Whoa, that is a big zombie! Ah! Whoa, he just exploded! What in the world? Oh, come on, Chunky. What was that? Watch out! Ooh, Chunky took a hit. That big zombie just exploded, though. What was that about? Chunky didn't know this was all new to him. Ah! There's another one! Run, Chunky! Ah! No, not by the car! Great, you got zombie chunks all over the car. Is that why they call you Chunky? Okay, back to looting. Ooh, that's a pistol. A different pistol. A pistol that shot 45 caliber. Ooh. Yeah, new pistol for Chunky. He found more gas, and then he got ambushed by children. Ow. And then he finally found the restaurant. There wasn't a lot in here, but then he heard a strange sound. What was that sound? And where had it come from? Then Chunky realized it was the sound of his antiviral wearing off, which meant his zombie infection was spreading once again. Not the best loot stop, though. Some ammo and consumables, but nothing especially exciting. So Chunky used a med kit to patch up where he'd been hit by that kid, and then he ate some dog food to restore his stamina because you do what you gotta do in the apocalypse. And with that, he and his car were all gassed up, so he headed out. This time he had to choose between a large neighborhood and a compound. The compound sounded interesting, so he went there. By the time he arrived, it had turned to night. And then Trinity called to bother him some more. And then it was flashlights on, and let's be careful please, for Chunky. Weirdly, the map said there were no points of interest here. But Chunky wanted to check out this compound. There were some zombies inside, but they seemed distracted. So maybe... Nope, that didn't work. And now the zombies were all coming. Woo! Things were getting hairy for Chunky. Reload Chunky, they're still coming! All right, zombies down. And maybe Chunky could find something here to... Wait, that's one of those explodey boys. Nope, Chunky decided he was out. To start the car. Come on, start the car. There we go. And this time there was an option to go to a safe house. No brainer. And just for good measure, Chunky ran over the big boy on the way out. But wait, before he reached the safe house, Chunky hit a detour. Something unusual is happening here. Time to investigate. He proceeded carefully, and once again the map showed nothing. But it looked like he was supposed to go this way, so Chunky- Ah! What the heck was that? Wait, was that a shotgun? It was! It was a shotgun booby trap! Chunky took a shotgun blast to the chest, what the heck? And it nearly killed him, what the heck? Thankfully, Chunky had a med kit so he could recover his health, but apparently he needed to watch out for not only zombies, but traps left by humans. Okay, let's try this again. Lots of zombies in the backyard. There's a big boy, but he's stuck inside. Ha <laughs> ha, can't get me. What? Ah, ah, what was that? Mutations? What is happening? And that's when Chunky learned that as he became a zombie, he would develop superpowers. So for now, he picked chemical imbalance. Is that a superpower? And went back to panicking, trying to get over the stupid wall. Oh no, it happened again. Adrenaline overload, 10% more stamina. That sounds great. Okay, please. Ow, so get over the wall. Thank you. Chunky is gonna take a step back for a minute. Everybody needs to chill out for a second. Hey, I said chill out. Chunky is not in the mood to deal with your crap right now. Chunky is a little shaken up because he's becoming a zombie. Ow, sit down, sit down. Sir, that means you too, sit down. Jeez, and that's how Chunky learned that getting hit by the exploding guy makes your infection go crazy, even if they're on the other side of a wall from you. Also, it became more obvious that the infection ate away at his health bar. Ow! Reducing his max health. 
So between the zombification and taking hits, suddenly Chunky's health was back to where it was after he got blasted by that shotgun. But the zombies were cleared out and Chunky was supposed to figure out what this ticking sound was. And it was some kind of weird fleshy device. He told the radio guy he'd found a device and the radio guy was like, can you get the gunk off it? So first Chunky was gonna smack it off, but then he worried it might explode. So he started shooting it. And this was a tough hunk of meat. Told you it would explode. More radio chatter about what the device could be and Chunky was all set to go, but not without first doing some looting. Though that house was kind of a bust. So he decided to try across the street. He saw some zombies inside. Ooh, that's a big boy. Stay away from the windows, Chunky. Oh, that's the exploding one. Woo, Chunky dodged that like a pro. Shot the other zombie and... What? No! The smog can still get you after the guy explodes? All right, Chunky developed a taste for blood, sure. Oh, and it's still hurting him. No! No! Sorry, Chunky, you've also been blessed with a stench. Oh, please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Okay, it stopped. And just like that, Chunky was... Oh, come on! Prey on the weak, fine. Whatever. Chunky was officially now more zombie than human, all because he had to make a stupid stop at this stupid detour and get blown up by stupid zombies. Stupid zombies. And now he was very fragile and running out of time. So he repaired his car and headed out to the safe house that was his original destination. Better not be any stupid zombies at the safe house. Nope, this safe house did indeed appear to be safe. No zombies. Just another fire barrel that Chunky wasn't sure what to do with. Oh, look, Chunky had a lot more crap now. Oh, and that's when Chunky figured out you had to combine ingredients to make herbal endurance. I mean, okay, but unless that did something to stop the zombie infection, that wasn't really gonna help him. But an herbal antidote? Now what are the odds? Nope, it cures poison. Zombieism isn't poison, so that didn't do anything for him. But inside, there was a gun he already had, and a campfire. Really shouldn't light fires indoors, Chunky. That's not safe. He found a radio? But he didn't have time to work that out. He found gas and a workbench, which was more crafting, but for different stuff. Like, if he took his damaged weapon and combined it with scrap, it would repair it. Water and rags made bandages. Alcohol and rags made Molotov cocktails. A plastic bottle and tape made bottle suppressor? Dang! Chunky topped off the car and then decided he did have time to figure out this radio. Turns out some of the things he had scavenged gave him knowledge points, which he could transmit at the radio for upgrades. Whatever he did spend wasn't going to benefit him, but the next person. Although he didn't have much knowledge, so he had to choose wisely. And then he saw it. A recipe for an improvised shotgun. Easy choice. Unfortunately, he couldn't make an improvised shotgun now, but maybe the next survivor could. Chunky left the safe house and drove on to his next stop. And now night had fallen. Chunky was in a delicate situation. He didn't have time or health to deal with many zombies, but he also didn't want to leave any resources behind. And this neighborhood happened to have a Herc station. But the door was locked. There was a way in, but it was loud. So forget what I just said about a delicate situation. Chunky was going in, whatever it took. Boom, lights on. The door was unlocked. But here come the zombies. But first, Chunky had to reload his gun. You know, Chunky had been through a lot the last couple days. And honestly, there was something therapeutic about just mowing down a horde of zombies. And when you're this close to death, you need those small victories in your life. Now, any chance these zombies were carrying some ammo? Oh, look at that. Oh, hello. Next, Chunky investigated the Herc station. There were supply boxes inside and uh, radio? Oh, it was the same kind of radio as before. 
These boxes required batteries to unlock, but Chunky had two, so he opened them up. And holy crap, the red box had an M4 in it. Yes, please. Wow, that was some great luck for Chunky. And the white box had some medicine in it. And here come some zombies. Wow, that is awesome. That is just brutal. I mean, talk about therapy. Chunky knew his time was running out. In his final hours, he had been blessed with a machine gun, and he was going to use it. Whoa, something caught fire. What was that? That was crazy. Chunky knew he had a mission, but he also had a fat stack of ammo he could burn through. And why not make the world a slightly safer place, you know? He wasn't having much luck with looting, so he made sure the car was topped off and in good shape and debated what to do next. Of course, it wasn't long before he was reminded of his condition, and that was enough to convince Chunky. He was out of time. He wasn't gonna reach the wall. He would be a zombie before then. But Chunky Code Monkey was not going to become a zombie. If he had to go, he was going out on his own terms. This was the last stand of Chunky Code Monkey. Hey everyone, Lieutenant Dan here. Thanks for watching. A special thanks to our Patreon member, Chunky Code Monkey. Chunky was our very first Patreon member, and I am so excited to kick off this series with his story. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon member and having your story told, there's a link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you stick around and check out the other fun stuff happening here at Lieutenant Dan Productions. You guys have a fantastic day.